Aquarius, this is your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries Tarot. This is a message for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. This is an energy reading, Aquarius, so you call it into you when you need something about this message, when the timing is right for you. But it's going to cast out for the week ahead, for the next seven days, and I'm going to break it down by each of the seven days so you can see how everything is going to play out. But Aquarius, this is where your message begins. So you got something to say, let it shine. Get something off your chest or be ready to be seen. And this is peacock energy, which is scorpionic energy. So you're ready to emerge from whatever cocoon or, or grave you've been buried under. There's just this energy of I'm ready. I'm ready to unveil. And because you see in this, um, I keep saying this is the throat chakra. You have something to say. It's usually about speech, opening up your voice, letting your voice be heard. That this, this week, sometime this week, and we'll get into when, is exactly when this is the right time to be heard, to be listened to. This is the right time. I don't know what this is. This, I don't know. I don't, let's get into it. Uh, we do have uh, 46, 4 plus 6 equals 10. So it's like something has been completed. I don't know if you're, maybe you're announcing something. Maybe this is the perfect time to announce something. And let's get into it. Aquarius, I'm going to divide the deck and whatever card falls out is part of the message. It's going to stay there. If you're looking for a personal message because of a specific issue that you're having, Please do go to my website because I do provide personal readings. Book and schedule right there, www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com, and your message will come within 24 hours of whatever day you scheduled. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel and hit all notifications. Uh, there's a little bell that says all notifications. Please select that bell so that you know not only when I upload your favorite content, but when I go live so you can participate in my live tarot card readings. All right, Aquarius, let's cleanse the energy and go. Aquarius, timing is everything right now. Don't jump the gun. That's going to be key to your success this week. Is what you have to say, getting it off your chest at exactly the right time. Aquarius, we start with take a leap of faith. But this was wishy-washy. This was something that you weren't sure of or didn't completely commit yourself to. This is something that comes up in the past, um, which is probably why you still have something to get off your chest or something that may have had like um, um, something that may have had like a soft debut, like like it didn't really it wasn't fully unveiled. Um, but now there's that sense of you're ready for the full gamut. I don't know, but this started a little while ago. It wouldn't be like a year ago. This would have been like maybe up to a couple of months ago. But there's something here that kind of didn't completely, um, you either you weren't sure of or you acted, but you acted within uncertainty. And that wasn't a good place or position to act from. So there is that sense of, okay, I, I need to actually announce it or say something now and kind of go full in or to point out that to point out that um I don't know all I hear is I'm ready now okay and then we have now is a lucky time oh, I love that 
there's so much that will be multiplied now for you. There's so much that will be um, almost easily prosperous for you. And maybe this is just a sense of before it wasn't the right time. You can feel in terms of timing. What I say, timing was everything right now. You can feel that that there is this is this is definitely the right time. Right. And because you waited, like, don't jump the gun. You had to wait. Maybe maybe you wanted something to come out a little bit before, but you def like this is confirmed. You had to wait. You were right to hold back. You were right to hold up or not push. Whenever this was you were you were right to wait till this moment, because this is when it's going to be optimized this week is when everything or all, all this energy, whatever you're doing, whatever you're engaged in, this is when it's going to be optimized. So let's pick day seven. We're going to get into the seven day play by play. I'm going to choose day seven and then leave it here uh, to see how everything adds up and concludes. Aquarius, how does all of this resolve day seven? there's a lot there let's go day one how does this all begin and remember day one could be monday could be tuesday could be sunday it doesn't matter it's when you're watching this video so aquarius day one how does this all begin we have walking away from a shitty situation from a situation that you were actually done with i know that it's weird like why wouldn't i just walk away because it was emotional and nobody hangs on to an emotional connection like an Aquarius who's finally had one. Because it's hard. It's hard for Aquarius to, to actually give over to their feelings. But once they do, it is, it's almost impossible for them to just get out of it and walk away. So this is this sense, Aquarius, of when you feel your abundance coming back because whatever is draining you you finally have the fortitude to be able to say i'm worth more than this i'm worth, i'm worth more than this shit you know i know that prosperity lies elsewhere so elsewhere is going to be where i'm going to put my focus <laughs> uh, that's it this is day one so day one is an actionable like you're ready because it's the eight of cups it's like this is emotional but it's like emotionally you're ready you're ready because you have a sense of strength and power within yourself to confirm that I don't need this shit anymore. Whatever I've been hanging on to, whatever I've been working overtime for, I don't need this shit anymore. I'm, I'm going to be better off without it. So what about day two, Aquarius? <laughs> okay. Okay. Day two. Two for Aquarius, okay. We have Ace of Cups. <laughs> I love this. As soon as you let go of what you don't care about anymore, because Eight of Cups is really about, I just don't have any, I don't like it anymore. I, I don't have any love for it anymore. I'm kind of done putting any effort into it. So it's when, it's when you almost become apathetic towards something. But day two is, oh, now that there's this brilliant new offer. So it's not like you left because of this offer. It's you left and then you made room for this brilliant and beautiful, oh, I love you. Oh, I care about you so much. Oh, I want you. Or this connectivity of being fulfilled or knowing exactly what fulfills you, having that revealed to you, um, this beautiful offer or opportunity in connection or communion who is this? What is this coming in on day two for Aquarius, please? We have eight of pentacles. I don't know. It's something you've been working very, very hard on. It's something that you put a lot of effort into and something that you did actually have a lot of faith in, but it wasn't like a leap of faith. It was a slow and steady 
contribution of faith, like knowing this is the right place to put my energy. This is the right place to put my attention. This is the right place to put my affection. That's weird. <laughs> I gotta take care of that. <laughs> now, now that's all you're gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. What about day three for Aquarius? I know. Sorry, guys. Um, a new offer. A kindness. This could also be a kindness. It doesn't have to be an offer in love. It's just somebody extending being kind to you or being able to be kind or offer a kindness because you're so filled with fulfillment and happiness because you got rid of the shit that wasn't working for you. There's all there's this bunch of prosperity that's happening now and confirming it could even be that people love your work. Right? And then all of a sudden there's this there's this um page of cups, this sense of giving, this sense of open-heartedness, this sense of I'm ready for something new. I'm ready to begin again. This could be a new child. I mean, that's, that's what it could be as well. We have um, deciding to go in a different direction. This could change your mind. And make you finally it be what finally pushes pushes you forward to know I know I now know what I want. I now know I want this new thing or going in a different direction with your affections. Being pulled in a different direction uh, uh, with your affections. I, it's almost like you're over one thing and onto another very quickly. <laughs> Very quickly this week, what about Aquarius Day 4? When you're ready, you're ready, you know? Mm. Aquarius. Yeah, you made the right investment. It's almost like your ships have come in. So watch, Day 3 is very significant. And let's go back to, to why. Because there's this kindness. It's a soft offer. It's a soft consideration, but it's a sweetness. And this kindness is what's going to or should. You should let this kindness guide your eyes and direct your focus to another possibility out there, right? It's, it's this, this kind word that kind of sways the situation just enough so that you look into the right direction that is absolutely the right direction, because this is where you should be looking for the abundance to come in and the strength now to receive it, the strength to not be afraid. There's, there's something here where now I can look in the direction of prosperity because I don't have to be afraid of it anymore. And I'm not afraid of it anymore. I'm not afraid to watch what something, or I'm not afraid to wait as something arrives. You know, just this sense of realizing what really matters and not holding on to maybe a safety, a safety net of some sort. So day three is really significant because it sets you up to be open and receptive for what wants to come through for you on day four. What about day five? Aquarius, standing up for what you believe in and, and not giving up. Uh, deciding to fight for what you know is right and deciding to uh, really stand behind something that matters to you even if something seems like so in other words day five is when the challenge comes day five is when the naysayers for the decision that you made start to get in your face and start to come come for you and there's just this sense that there's such strength because you've seen how right you were there's such strength behind that. This is why the strength card arrived on day four. There's such strength behind it that there, there's a sense of, I'm not giving this up. I know this is meant for me. I know this is right for me. And I don't feel bad at all for letting go and leaving behind whatever this crap is that didn't work for me. I'm good, yo. Peace out. And then we have day six. Day seven, there's a lot that's going to happen, though, because there's a lot of cards that came out. Day six, what happens day six? Queen of Wands. Are you dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries 
or just somebody who is very attractive, very noticeable, very um, upfront, could be somebody that has like sort of a public position, or maybe when you go public about something or have the confidence to finally talk about it, right? That, that, that could be as well. Who is this queen, queen of Wands? Can you specify, please? It could be a dynamic of yourself, could also be somebody that you're dealing with. It's a new opportunity and a new goal. It's a new passion. It's a new inspiration. It's a new project or it's a new, necessarily project. It's a new direction. And I don't, I think that at this point, if this represents a piece of you, this is actually when everybody else sees it. This is when everybody else recognizes, holy shit, Aquarius was right. This needs to be the direction that we're going in. This is the good choice. This is the, pro it's almost like in some ways, that's when you make everybody else realize, especially after you stood up for what you believe in. This is like a sense of, oh, now everybody else gets it. And you're carrying a baton. There's some sort of leadership here. Or you being a forerunner. Or trusting this person that has this very fire, futuristic energy to them. This sense of, oh, no, no. We may be blazing. We're blazing a trail here. That's why some people may not get it. But, oh, they're going to follow very quickly. Let's see about the moon card. I really want to understand how this is impacting emotionally. Look at the bigger picture. This is Sagittarius full moon. So there's just this energy of allowing yourself to release or open up your perspective or perception, zooming out, which is what Sagittarius energy is all about, zooming out, full moon in Sagittarius, look at the bigger picture, this sense of there's more going on here. And I'm looking for the future. And this is what it is. This is, this is that energy of there's a bigger picture going on here. And that's why I'm not going to be short-sighted about this. That's why everything in your mind has been looking out, having the strength to see what projects into the future. This is like, I mean, it could be, this is simplifying it, but it could be something as basic as predicting a trend. That's going to be really, really clear to you this week and know, wow, this is the direction that everything is headed in. I got to climb on board. And yes, you can do Aquarius, please come over to the extended reading. I absolutely cannot wait to see you there. Link is in the description box below and I've pinned it to the top of the comment section for your convenience. I'll see you there.